That concrete slab is going to fall into the ocean. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. Hey, good morning. So today we're coming to you from Bavero Beach where the majestic mirage is. And uh, this video, we're going to show you what the beach looks like. Now, I must tell you, uh, we took a quick walk yesterday and there's a ton of beach erosion. Um, the beach is nowhere as big as it was when we were here just five years ago. Uh, now, before we take our walk, one thing I want to point out is there's a lot of complaints online about the seaweed here around the uh, Majestic Resorts. And again, we're at the Majestic Garage. But um, yesterday there was a little seaweed, but today, take a look at this. I mean, the seaweed is pretty much gone and the water looks perfectly clear. I don't see much seaweed at all. And that's great for you uh, beach lovers. All right, so let's go. We're gonna take our walk down the beach, down to uh, as far as the Hard Rock Cafe, and uh, we'll show you the uh, erosion and what's happening down here. So although there is erosion, it's still a beautiful beach and definitely a place you want to visit at least once. Take a look at this. This is the beach in front of the Majestic Mirage. Now on our walk, we'll be walking from the Majestic Mirage and passing their two other sister resorts, the Majestic Elegance and the Majestic Colonial, which are right next door. So right next to the Majestic Mirage where we're staying, this is the Majestic Elegance, another Majestic property. And as you can see, there's beach erosion here even. When we were here uh, five years ago, the beach extended all the way out and there was none of this uh, erosion that you could see at the base of the palm trees. The Majestic Elegance even put, apparently put some sandbags here in the sand uh, to try to stop some of the erosion. But uh, you can't stop this ocean. If it wants to come up here, it's going to. And right next to the uh, Majestic Elegance is a third Majestic Resort. Right in front of you, you're looking at the, the uh, Majestic Colonial. Now the Colonial is the least expects, expensive of the three Majestic Resorts. So you have the Colonial is the least expensive, the uh, Elegance is in between, and then the uh, Mirage is the most expensive resort. Uh, but that's all relative because uh, in general, it's not very expensive to come here. And you can kind of see, because of the lower price point, the Majestic Colonial looks a little more crowded than the uh, Mirage or the Elegance. A lot of people out here. But they also have the bigger beach of all three resorts. They're kind of like on a little peninsula. But that there's their main um, outside buffet right there, right in front of you. we came to this one, the uh, Majestic Colonial, um, about 10 years ago. And at that time, uh, the beach was uh, much higher. There was no wall. You see that wall behind me? There was no wall because of erosion. Um, it was purely sand that extended from the palm trees all the way out to the ocean. But the nice thing also is you're around the bend here. You get a really good view of the Dominican Republic, the island. And you can see the mountains way off in the distance. And there's also some new construction up ahead too. As soon as you, as soon as you pass the uh, majestic properties, um, you come to some other resorts, and I don't know their names exactly, but I'll research it and uh, put it below um, of what, what resorts these are. But again, look at this. The sand used to go up to that house, and now you have a slab of concrete that's kind of hanging over. And there's a pretty good uh, drop-off point uh, from the beach to that hut up there. And it never used to be like this. And you can see all the erosion. Matter of fact, they have caution tape up there so you don't fall off. You can see there's an old tree here that collapsed. Because um, there used to be palm trees all along here. Uh, but now they're gone as the beach uh, eroded away. 
And again, even five years ago when we walked this, it was not like this at all. Another, there's another tree that's no more. It looks like uh, this outdoor structure is ready to slide right into the ocean. Still a great beach to walk though. This is taking the place of our usual walk in our Garden City Beach in South Carolina. I must say the water is uh, nice and warm, has that nice turquoise color, and uh, there's a lot of people here enjoying it. So this is a uh, January, and this is considered the high season in Punta Cana. The weather is perfect, um, 82 degrees, um, just a slight touch of uh, humidity. When we've been here in the summertime, or actually in the spring, um, it was in the high 80s and really super humid, so it made it really uncomfortable. Um, but this is just perfect. It's, uh, it's lovely, actually. And joining us today on the walk is the famous Chef Tony. Yeah, I'm here. I was right? Yes, yes. You do, you do barbecue in North Carolina, I right? I brought my grill and I brought my pizza oven. I did. You, oh, you should bring it along. I yeah. Did. So there may be about three resorts, maybe four, along the stretch of the beach, with the last one being the Hard Rock uh, at the end of the strip. Um, I'll try to put the names uh, below if I can figure out which ones they are. I think I figured it out. Right after the Majestic Resorts, I believe in this area you'll find the Royalton, Occidental, Canna Bay, Hotel Rue, and finally the Hard Rock. But if I didn't get it right, please put it in the comments below. This area does have a great uh, ocean here, and it seems a little more gradual going in as opposed to over at the Majestic. Now if you take this walk, here's more of what you'll see. Yeah, so it's interesting, we're here in front of the Hard Rock, and uh, compared to where we just walked, this beach is pretty empty. There's nobody here. I'm not sure why. Because I thought this was a very popular uh, hotel, and we are in the high season of January. But it looks pretty empty. And the beach in front of the Hard Rock is beautiful. Look how wide this is, and look at this water. It's gorgeous. So this is the end of the Hard Rock, and as you can see, there's no other hotels. Although there's one way off in the distance on the end of the, what looks like a peninsula. So let's go see if there's any warning signs about going any further. So the story used to be that you didn't want to walk past the Hard Rock because there was no more hotels and bandits would come out of the woods and rob the guests. And apparently this happened very commonly 10 years ago. And uh, there used to be signs saying, don't pass this point. So we're gonna walk down there and see if that sign is still there. But um, the general rule of thumb is, don't walk on the beach where there's no hotel. So there used to be a huge billboard here saying, don't go any further, danger, danger, danger. And uh, now the only thing we see is a small sign that says, blue flag beach, be advised by rules. And this one says blue flag beach limits. So they sort of scaled down the warning of walking on this uh, desolate uh, beach area past the Hard Rock. All right, so that concludes our walk from the Majestic Mirage to the Hard Rock uh, Resort where the hotels end. And uh, it's a beautiful day. If you haven't been here, come on down. But. Um, as always, uh, until next time, safe travels.